lots of traffic on the road right outside my house and then um, I had to stop and get some pop tarts for the kids I know I know they're loaded with crap and non-nutritious but I had to feed them something fast because um, I have Maddie today since my mom is still sick and in the hospital and so I was gonna have to um, make sure that she had something in her belly this morning so that she'll be somewhat tolerable in the classroom we'll see so it's been pretty hectic and I can only thank myself for putting planning off until the last minute again um, so this week you guys need to help me I cannot procrastinate I have been procrastinating with my lesson planning for CC and then waiting until the last minute to do it and it is not a good system for me so this week I will have a goal to get it all done early in the week so that I don't have to worry about it so I didn't have time to pack a lunch for me and Mason and Maddie Jake packed his lunch and so for lunch today after class um, I guess that me and the little ones will be going and getting something to eat or either going home for a few hours I haven't quite made up my mind about what we're gonna be doing because Jacob has class until 3.30. <clears throat> Turn the radio off. Jacob has class until 3.30, and I have no idea what I'm going to do since I have Maddie for three hours. So, <clears throat> I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. We'll see what happens. Right, Maddie? So, pray for me. I'm going to try to put her in the child care today, and if that doesn't work, then she'll be in class with me while I teach. And who knows how that will go, but we're gonna try it, so. Fingers crossed for a good day. I'm tired, I turned my alarm clock off at six, and then I went back to sleep. And woke up in a panic at seven. So, it's been kind of like, you know when you oversleep and then you jump up in a panic, it's like the rest of your morning and day can feel like that, you know, just like you're, like t you know 10 steps behind where you should be all day long I don't know why it is like that but sometimes it does make you feel that way so all right guys well we are almost here and I will see you guys in a little bit community day is done as far as um, tutoring goes it wasn't my best week um, <clears throat> I wasn't as prepared as I would have liked to have been um, number one number two um, the kids were just really really tough this week Maddie being in the classroom was extremely distracting for them um, you know they're like six years old so um, any type of disruption to their classroom really makes a big difference in their behavior and it was hard to keep the chit chat down and all of the goofing off and to keep their attention and then um, it was just a very stressful day for me <laughs> and I didn't even have time to pack lunch this morning so I um, soon as it was over we loaded up the van I went in and said hey to Jacob in the lunchroom and then we hightailed it out of there and it's about 1230 right now so I won't be um, returning to get him until about 330 
but um, I'm okay with not staying there today. I need a break. Holy macaroni. It's been like, it was pretty much a nightmare. I had like a serious headache dealing with the chaos of Maddie and everything else and I don't know. It was tough. It was tough. This is definitely, I would say, my toughest week. Tutoring and everything. I don't know. This week, you know, I was anticipating doing all my planning all day yesterday. So it wouldn't have been a big deal if I hadn't got that message from my manager that I had to do all of this test by midnight. So that had to take priority and um, I just had to flow with it. But it's over with, praise God. And we are in a new week and I hope and pray to have just a more organized week because when things are like disorganized and I don't feel on top of my game, it just makes me like depressed. <laughs> Not really depressed, but like I just don't feel right, you know? I just don't feel right. And then, oh, top it off, I just stopped at the gas station to get a drink because I have had nothing to drink all day except for my coffee. And I realized when I got it to the cash register to pay, that my husband has my debit card and I gave all of my cash um, away this morning so yeah what I mean by giving my cash away is I owed people money um, like I had to pay the tutor substitute for when she sub subbed for me and then I paid um, I had to pay my tuition for Jacob's schooling and so that was the only cash I had in my purse so I was scrounging up a uh, change to buy drinks at the gas station. <laughs> I know the people behind me were like, really lady, really? I was counting pennies, you know, trying to get enough money to pay for a soda and some juice for the kids. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. I need a reset button. Do you guys ever need a reset button? I need to like reset for the day. I need to like hit the button and just restart. So we spent our time that we had. Um, I took the kids by McDonald's and got them a little Happy Meal. And then I went into Goodwill because Maddie is really needing some winter clothes. This morning I was having a hard, hard time finding some clothes for her. And Mason, you have a lot from last year. And um, so I went to Goodwill and I think this is the first time ever that I left Goodwill without making one single purchase. So um, they didn't really have much and I went ahead and just left and didn't get anything. And so I decided to run across the street to Marshall's and look there for some winter clothes. And they actually did have some. So um, I picked her up some things and I also looked in their um, like stationary area because that is my favorite part about like TJ Maxx and Marshalls is you can always find the cutest like notepads and sticky notes and things like that for super cheap. So um, I went ahead and picked up a few things and I also got the most adorable coffee mug ever. So I can't wait to show you guys what I got. I'm gonna do a little haul when I get home and show you guys what I got. I really didn't spend much money. It was um, all very good deals. So that's what I like about Marshalls. Their prices are very reasonable, you know? A lot of the sticky notes and things that I got for my planner were just 99 cents, $1.50. Um, I think the most expensive thing that I got was like $2.99. Tell them what I got. Mason got the coolest pen. It's like, um, a super big pen with a flower on the top it looks and like you write with the stem i should have got myself one but he wanted one of those and then maddie found this little puzzle school bus puzzle that was on clearance for five bucks so we got that yeah, maddie's standing in front of a person when she was drunk uh-huh so i'll show you guys what we got when i get home from getting jacob but that was a fun little shopping trip and i'm just happy that i found maddie a few things for fall and winter because she is desperate for clothes this morning i was just looking for some leggings to go underneath her dress and i couldn't find any so leggings are a must she wears a lot of dresses and i don't like tights so i want those um like really tight leggings 
for her. So I cannot have enough leggings. I want leggings in every single color for Maddie. She wears, I just feel like when she wears a dress or skirt that she needs um, to have something underneath it. And she, I've always, you know, even in the summertime, I've always had her in those little shorts or something underneath her dress, just for modesty. And um, so Target really is the best place to find those types of things. They have all the leggings for usually like three or four bucks. So I'll just have to do a little Target shopping and get different color leggings. Next time. Yep, yeah, we'll have to make a little trip to Target for that. Um, what else did I find? Um, Alright, I'll have to show you guys. What? Are you going the wrong way to go to Jesus? No, I gotta go get on the interstate, so I gotta go this way. Alright guys, I wanted to show you my Marshalls haul. So I've got it all laid out here. And uh, the main reason I went was to get Maddie's clothes. So I needed to pick up some fall clothes for her. And I really lucked out and found some super cute stuff. So I found this shirt here, which I think is just adorable with these little hearts on them. And then um, I matched them sort of to, the, to um, these pants, but they didn't really come with the outfit. Um, so I did get those separately. And then the next uh, set is did come together so it's this really cute chelsea's corner shirt here i thought this was so adorable with a little pom-pom for the hat and then the uh like stretchy blue jean uh, cotton pants there and then this shirt just absolutely i fell in love with because of these you guys know this is so cute so i picked this shirt up i think it was like six bucks um, and then I found this sweater on sale. It was on the sale rack. I found it for $5, which I was so excited about. This is um, Poof Girl, uh, I guess that's what it says. Yeah, Poof Girl br uh, brand and 3T. And Maddie is too, but she is wearing a 3T size right now because she is so tall. This has got to be my most favorite little outfit that I found. It's got this really adorable little heart embellishment down here. It has the longer back to it. It's like the tunic style. And then it has these adorable little um, tights to go underneath, which I thought were so cute. So cute. So look at that, guys. Is that not adorable? And then um, I also picked up some um, planning supplies and this adorable little mug. Is that not the cutest mug ever? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that mug. Mason got this cute little uh, flower pen here. You love that flower pen? <laughs> so he got that. And um, I found these uh, Lily Pulitzer sticker set. Hmm? Huh? Okay, it's okay. Which I thought I could definitely use in my planner. It has uh, five different sheets. And um, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it has different stickers for, I don't think it's going to focus, uh, for different occasions like practices, back to school, weekend away, uh, school event, games, um, field trips, conferences. There's also stickers for meetings, uh, baby showers, haircuts, doctor visits, girls night. Um, birthday party, vacation, luncheon, meeting, Manny Petty. So there's lots of different um, stickers in here, and then the letter stickers are here also. So I thought that was a super good find for uh, $2.99. That was a great price for that. And then I got this magnetic uh, notepad here, uh, What to Eat, uh, the Eternal Question. So this is a meal plan sticky pad. Um, or not sticky pad, I guess it's a magnetic pad, but I thought this would be super cute to help plan um, the meals. And it was $2.99 as well. So it's a pretty thick uh, pad that you can use to plan. And then I found these paper clips, which you guys know if you love planning that you always need some good paper clips in your planner. And these were really cute. I love the gold and I love the arrows. And these were $1.99. And then I found these um, sticky notes here that say never, whenever, now, someday, and today. So 
so that's always helpful whenever you are planning i don't think that i will ever use the never tabs <laughs> i'm not really sure that that is very functional but whatever um and these were really cheap these were like a dollar let's see yep a dollar 49 so i thought that was a great price for those and um i like to use those in my erin conjure life planner so that is what i picked up and I'm really excited about it. So we are at McAllister's for dinner tonight. Uh, Daddy's gonna video oh, this today. Oh, we already have French some mac and cheese. Macaroni. Oh, French dip, that's Jake. Oh, and you. Uh, bacon spud. That's me. Kids macaroni and lays. That's these two. And he's right here with the rest. Thank you. Come on, Maddie, come on. Maddie, come on. Do you need a high chair? Oh, no, that's okay. She won't sit in anyway. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, bud. Appreciate it. Thank you. Come on. Come on over here, Maddie. Come over here, Come on. Oh, don't fall. We're here at McAllister's for dinner tonight. I am exhausted, and Daddy had some errands to run, so I came with him, and um, we decided to take the easy way out for dinner. So I'm kids having. Eat free. Oh, yeah, it's Kids Eat Free. That's right. We came here because it's Kids Eat Free on Tuesdays. That's why we come to McAllister's a good bit. Same reason we go to uh, Firehouse a good bit too because it's kids eat free. No, because we, we, we almost never go there. Mm -hmm. I am having a bacon cheese potato. No, no. Daddy's having a French dip. Maddie's having macaroni. Jacob's yeah. French dip. Macaroni. It's like an order. Mm -hmm. We came up to Daddy's work. So he could fax a few items that he need to fax to a client. And we're just hanging out in the lobby. Say hey. Hey. Maddie, say hey. Hey. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go in this way. Mason said he looks like he works in here. He looks like he worked in here. Don't like your pocketbook. 